I thought the NASCAR All-Star Race was good, and I'm going to explain why right now. Just stay with me. Last night, NASCAR had the All-Star Race at Texas Motor Speedway. Texas is not the best track. And I'm just, I put quotes around that because I hear that from people. I myself have watched one Texas race. That was, well, now two. I've watched the 2021 Fall Texas race in the playoffs and the All-Star race. And both of them, I thought, were really good. But I know, I get why everyone says it's bad. I, I've seen a ton of replays. I became a fan in 2020. Never since have seen, like, every replay to ever exist about NASCAR. I mean, like, look at my room. Look at my room. It's like, I'm the biggest NASCAR fan that hasn't gone to the track yet. With that being said, I thought yesterday's race was really good. And when I went on YouTube, apparently people have some different thoughts. Everyone said it was terrible, no passing, nothing, terrible race. And I disagree with that a lot. I'm gonna pull up some comments on my YouTube channel. I'm gonna pull up some comments on my YouTube channel and I'm gonna show you some of the comments that I got. So if I go to my community, I go down, and this is what I wrote before I went to school. I'm gonna say it now so y'all can hear. From a 12-year-old's perspective, a young fan, I thought yesterday's race was really good. We saw a near flip, pit stop challenges, great side-by-side -side racing, and a controversial finish. As a young fan, I really enjoy sitting there watching the race, and it's not even my home track. Overall, I like the race a lot, even though there are not many passes, nor a Denny Hamlin win. Yes, I'm a big Hamlin fan. And I got quite a lot of responses here. Alright, so real quick, I'm going to read and react to some of these. And yes, it did get darker out because the footage on my phone got deleted somehow. Don't know how that happened. So this one is from Brent MKW. He had a pretty big comment, so I'm just going to sum it up real quick. So pretty much he says he was fine with the race, but he was upset with the finish. He didn't like how NASCAR threw the caution when Ricky Stenhouse just barely scraped the wall, which I agree with. But another thing he said is that the window net obviously wasn't uh, like attached properly. That's a big safety hazard consider con considering that... Um, Considering that Ross Chastain flew over Kyle Busch before. But nonetheless, he was pretty happy about the race, just really mad about the finish. And this guy, Last Lap Racing Network, this guy agrees with what I said, so at least one per person is on my side. And then this guy says, maybe if you like the crashes, but the racing and officiating sucked. I think it was very inconsistent too. But for one, I don't watch NASCAR because of crashes, but they are pretty entertaining, I gotta admit. Especially like some of the big ones. Do we got a crash? The racing, I actually like the racing a lot. There's a lot of side by side racing. You know, if you just go in and you make like a pass, something like that, yeah, it's cool, but it's just a normal pass. Like, for example, Denny Hamlin, Daniel Suarez. Denny Hamlin had to fight. He literally had to fight his car to get up to Suarez. He had to get side by side, get side by side. They're racing a ton of laps side by side for like five laps. Truex catches up. Denny Hamlin ends up falling back a little bit, catches back up, tries to get side by side. There's a good side by side battle. And then the caution comes out and then Denny Hamlin eventually finishes ahead of Suarez. This guy says, you are wrong, period. Thanks. It's a disaster. Three lead changes, bad racing, stupid tires, and NASCAR being stupid. It was objectively a disaster. The thing is though, you guys got to realize that this race was for entertaining. Like for ent entertaining me, the other fans. It's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. If the racing sucks, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You know what? It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. But everyone is making a big deal out of it. I don't know why. Maybe because they like to complain about a lot of things, but I thought the race was good. Also, two weeks ago, I kind of predicted the Ross Chastain near flip. I had Denny Hamlin driving over Joey Logano in the same exact way Chastain did. And I posted it two weeks ago and I would have completely forgot about it if it weren't for Crazy Cars over here. Crazy Cars 81. He's been commenting on a lot of my things. But 
Yeah, it's pretty cool. I completely forgot about that, so it's really cool that I re somewhat remembered. But in conclusion, I think that people are overreacting a ton. If NASCAR wants to get younger fans in, I'm 12. I am 12. That's six years younger than what NASCAR wants. And I think the racing is good. That must mean that it has to be somewhat good. I think it's all like the big names that are saying it's bad, like Eric Eastup, the Iceberg, I don't know about Black Flags Matter. Oh yeah, Black Flags Matter did say that. Then Danny B, I'm sure, is going to make a video about it soon. He I think it's just all of them are getting in our heads and making it bad. And I think really the only reason that people think it's bad is the finish. If it weren't for the finish, I think that everyone would kind of be fine with it. Like, even Eric Eastup was saying that he was all just like waddled up about the finish. Like, he couldn't think straight, all that. I don't know. I mean, it was, the finish was entertaining. When that happened, it made me really excited. Like, I was just sitting there. Here, I'll do a reenactment. We're going to go back racing, boys. Yeah, it's pretty much my reaction. That was a great, great reenactment. Just saying. Well, that'll be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I have videos coming out tomorrow, the next day, the next day, and probably the next day after that, and probably the next day after that. I'm trying to get views, people. I need views. In other words, I need money. What?